Hey everyone, this is third take <laughs> because all the previous two ones, the video format was wrong or like some other issue. So anyway, uh, this is a ECS setup video or going to be explaining like how the basic setup of ECS looks like without any like, you know, add ons like schedulers or debuggers, because I think if you're initially starting out with ECS, it can be kind of daunting to set it up because everyone tells you to set up this debugger and or the use scheduler or whatnot but i think it's better to familiarize yourself with acs a little bit and then kind of slowly integrate other libraries once you start seeing purpose of it so in this guide i will just kind of be setting up ecs using like you know pure run service events um and then the next couple of videos we're going to kind of start branching out and kind of figure out why we use scheduler and what purpose they serve and then we'll, we'll kind of you know slowly like set them up it's a little bit of a hassle to set up those uh other add-ons especially in studio but we, we will do our best uh to set it up um obviously it's a lot better experience if you use vs code because you have um access to wally -E and other package managers, right? In Studio, you don't really have that luxury. Uh, I guess you might have some plugins, but I don't have that installed because I don't really use Studio, but yeah. Anyway, that's getting kind of off topic, but first, uh, the easiest library we will be kind of using is called JECS, uh, which is called Just an Entity Component System uh, by Marcus, um, and yeah, first thing to do would be to go on this GitHub page, which I will link down into the description below. But in this page, you will arrive in this thing called Ukindio. I hope I'm not I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but slash JCS. And in here, uh, we don't care about you know most of these stuff, right? Like it's good to check out the demo file or docs, whatever on your own free time. But really, we only care about one file, which is this jcs.luu file. Now, in this file, this is a pretty large file, right? But all we want to do is copy paste this into our replicated storage. So just click on wrong and then control A and control C and bring this back to Roblox Studio. So here I'm going to create a new module script. Call this jcs and paste it here. And that's it. We have kind of halfway set up ECS already. Now the other half is actually running your systems. So in ECS, um, first let me kind of create a script. I'm going to turn this into a service script and we're going to import JCS. Now in ECS, we have a world uh, in this world. It contains a bunch of entities, right? And entities are just containers that hold components and whatnot. And the whole point of ECS is that we want to kind of continuously query some components or not, rather, sorry, query some entities with specified components, whatever, and just operate on them, right? Those are your systems. So let's create a quick system. First, I'm not going to query for any components. But just to prove that, you know, this is all you need. So let's create a system called system. It's not a great name, but who cares? I'm just going to say print like a message running in system at server. Then I'm going to set up a run service loop. Uh, And in this loop, I'm just gonna call this function. And that this is the ECS in general. We call our functions, which are systems, which are just functions, and, and execute them each frame. Right? And so we're gonna be printing running in system at server each frame. And we can do this by pressing run, right? And then we see this, right? It's continuously executing it. Great. Let's do something more ECS like. And that's creating a component and kind of querying for it. 
So we can create components using jcs.components or rather, sorry, world.components. Before that, I'm going to create a new world. I can do this by creating a jcs.world.new. This initializes a new world and you can create a new component using world.component. So that means this player component is always part of this world. Now I'm going to create, I'm going to import player service. Set up a player added event. When a player joins the server uh, or a game rather, I want to create a new entity and assign the player component to that entity. Here we attach, we add a player component to the entity E and the components value is our player name. Let's do something with this. We can query for this component and kind of print out the value. Very simple, right? Role.query. So in this case, E refers to the entity ID, which is this E, and then player refers to a component player that, that we assigned it here. So if I were to run this, we will see my name printing a bunch of times. Exactly. Now the whole point of uh, systems is that you have, you query some entities with specified components and you operate on them. Now, when you, don't have any entities that match with player. For instance, I'm just gonna, you know, comment out this. In this case, this is an en empty entity that has no component, right? So in this case, we will never kind of match this entity because it does not have a player component. We can prove this by running this. We will see no output. So this is just ECS in nutshell. Uh, and in future videos, I will kind of, you know, go over additional concepts and kind of slowly integrate other libraries such as schedulers or debuggers to make user experience better. But those are videos for later. And that's it. Hope this kind of basic setup helps you get started with ECS so you can kind of play around with it, create some components, query it, and just familiarize it yourself with it. Because for the next couple of videos, we're going to slowly introduce new concepts and kind of go through the JCS uh, docs as well.